Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This is a bit spontaneous. I wasn't planning to make a video, but uh, this kind of happened and I figured that this would be a good throwback considering that, you know, I'm kind of doing clone videos now because it's just fun. So uh, let me share with you a bit of a story. So recently I purchased a box full of phones at a local auction. This wasn't one of them, but just... Just, just ignore it. Well, this here is the iPhone 5, first released in September 2012. It is getting on in age, and, well, in this box of miscellaneous phones that I only got to look at for a split second or two, there was this iPhone 5 in the box, and I thought, hey, that's going to be pretty cool, you know, get to work on an iPhone 5, because I haven't worked on one for quite a while. So, it'd be just fun, I guess. Look, I don't really repair iPhones a lot, you know, if I have them, I'll repair them, but otherwise I won't go out of my way. But, you know, this was in the box of phones. Mostly it was just Android, and then this was in here. So I'm thinking, okay, fair enough. So I bought my box of phones at the auction. I bought it to my car, and I decided to just have a look at the phones that I got. Now, what I thought I got was an iPhone 5 with a whole bunch of Android phones. Nah, nah. You know, I was looking for this. Yeah, I didn't get that. <laughs> I got this instead. <laughs> I was allowed to only look through it very quickly before the auction was, you know, about to begin. And um, I just sort of seen it and was like, okay, get back. That, that's okay. No worries. It's an iPhone 5. I didn't look at it properly. <laughs> and boy, I should have. Man, I should have. So here is the iPhone 5 clone from probably 2012, I would say. Now, a lot of people are probably going to ask also about the uh, Band-Aids. I'm getting corrective surgery on both of my thumbs, so... Yeah, just excuse the band-aids and stuff. It's just temporary. So yes, this is it here, and it's it weighs nothing. I don't even think there's guts inside of it. Just bear with me. Bear with me, folks. So on the side here, we get the mute switch, which actually is a button. Oh, it's already on. Then we have our plus and minus volume buttons here. At the top of the phone, we have our lock button. Then here we have a SIM tray. Now, it all looks fine and dandy with the SIM tray, but uh, it's not all fine and dandy. For you see, when we pop out the SIM tray, we find out that it's not a nano one, it's a micro SIM, and it's made of plastic. Which is fair, so that's that's okay. That's alright. Moving on, uh, I'm just going to show you the back first. So here's the back of it, which looks fairly reasonable, I guess. It's got that space grey shimmery design, I guess, which is, yeah. But uh, the Apple logo is just painted on. Which is, which is fair. Then the camera at the top is just a little tiny one there and the flash as well. Nothing really, yeah. And then going down, this is this is where the moment shines here. It's designed by Mubal in California, a set bled in China model E1833 and then a whole bunch of the um, FCCs and all that sort of stuff, regulations and all that crap. Did I even look at the back of this? No, I just, I just seen the front of it and I was like, oh yeah, it's iPhone 5. <laughs> Didn't even care. The best part about this, as, as we're all familiar with, the iPhone 5 used the lightning port as their forms of charging the device and data transfer. Yeah, well, this one doesn't fucking use any of that. It just, uh, they've just shoved a micro USB port in there. There's a micro USB port that they've just shoved in there. They're like, yeah, no, it's fine. We, we we don't even know how lightning works yet. The lightning connector works. We're just shoving micro USB port. That's fine. And then to also prove my theory, say, look. Yeah, I mean, you know, they tried. The, to the unsuspecting eye, it looks like a lightning port and it doesn't look anything like it. So anyways, uh, what are we exactly dealing with here? <laughs> this plastic... Oh my god, it's just... It weighs nothing, but yeah, it's just on the back there. All that good stuff. Ah, boy. So, um... Actually, I'll turn it off and turn it back on. I'll show you what it does. Let's go ahead and switch this thing on and you'll see what it does. So you hold the power button and oh, pre iOS 6 logo and there you go. It just boots up like that, just, just extremely fast. Uh, the screen resolution is like 240 by like 320 or something. It's horrendous. Uh, it's also using a Java operating system, which is um, 
Very unsurprising because when I used to look at a bunch of like older clones, they always used this Java operating system. It's been they've been using it for years, and then they finally went Android, and it's been Android for a while for the higher end devices, anyways. God knows what this is running. Probably like a single core 200 megahertz with like 32 meg of RAM or something like that. Probably. I don't know. But this is a relic. This is a relic. This is from 2012-ish. You know, maybe this was even released before the actual iPhone 5 was released. Maybe made these clone batches up and just went, yeah, ship them out. That's, that's perfectly fine. And some unsuspecting person has bought it. And then I've ended up with it. <sighs> Sigh. Uh, anyways. We get a bunch of preloaded applications, which I'm sure we're all going to use. We have calendar, photo, camera, call center, video, note, profiles, settings, MMS, ebook, calculator, just recorder in lowercase, alarm, stopwatch, world clock, file, there, uh, date and time. We also have phone, SMS, iPod, and contacts, FM radio, Bluetooth, video, eBay. We all need eBay. Google, Yahoo, and Gmail. Do we need Yahoo? I don't know. WAP, which is, um, wow. Haven't seen that in a while. We have birds, fruit, fishing, uh, brave man, fair, and shooting. It's not basketball, it's it's, it's shooting, because, you know, reasons. That's all the preloaded applications, but uh, none of it's, you know, legit. It just It's just all crappy Java applications. But it's in settings that's quite funny, which, see how fast and fluid the operating system is? Just, whoa, it's just so fast. But we get flight mode, we get Wi-Fi, which actually does work by the way because um it found my network how do i go back we have notification which is the pull down menu yeah see there you go see it works just like an ios 6 device does anyone remember ios 6 devices god seems like a million years ago so location services carrier sound uh, we'll go sound ring one ring two actually i don't know how loud it is There you go. It's definitely an iPhone. 100% legit iPhone. Brightness, uh, we're going to increase that to 36 because why not? Uh, so in general here, in about, uh, it is an iPhone 5. Network is open. Songs, we have a thousand songs on here. We have 50 videos, 888 photos, 39 applications, a capacity of 64 gig, available 58 gig. The version is version 6.0. And then uh, 10A403. Carrier 12. Model MD239CH. CH for China. Serial number is just a random bunch of stuff. We have the IMEI, which is just, yeah, random numbers, which actually probably clean to be fairly honest. And yeah, all that good stuff. So yeah, uh, we have software update, which um, that doesn't do anything. Even when it's connected to a network, it doesn't do anything. Uh, amount is. Also, doesn't do anything. Siri doesn't do anything. I think WAP does something. I think that opens up something. Yeah, of course it does. We have Bluetooth, iTunes, WLAN Sync, which doesn't do anything. Spotlight Search. That doesn't do anything. <laughs> Auto Lock, Passcode Lock, Restrictions. Um, it just, yeah. I mean, you you can reset it. Look, is that accessibility? Oh, shit. I've just changed the language. Uh, uh-oh. Um... Uh, oh, oh boy, what have I done? Huh, okay, change it back to English, my bad. Yeah, I'm just used to things not working on this thing, and just you just press things and it doesn't work. Um, accessibility, doesn't do anything. Reset, input phone password. Oh, I don't know what that is. Um, the touchscreen is actually surprisingly responsive. I say that with band-aids on my thumbs. Uh, yeah, you know, it, it works. The battery percentage is just sort of dropping down whenever it wants. It took like half an hour to charge to 100%, and then it's just like nothingness now. I mean, it's 81%, it's not too bad. I mean, it has Wi-Fi. It does work with Wi-Fi, but like nothing else works. Also, phone security is um, that, because, you know, imagine if we had Touch ID on this thing. That would have been mad. Photos. I took a photo of this. I don't even know what the hell I took a photo of. Um... There it is. There's a, there's a red dot and there's a blue dot. So it must be something important. Um, help. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so it's a very uh, it's a very good clone so far, as we can see. Obviously, like, what, what does video do? Oh, video is just video. Oh, we can record in 120 by 240. 
if that. Let's go ahead and play like some of the applications. <laughs> Presenting the Java version of Angry Birds. It's like a fully fledged Java version of Angry Birds. That's that's fair. Hey, I did it. I'm proud. Uh, let's see fruit. Oh, look at that. Whoa, the graphics. Amazing. If anyone's going to ask me, yes, this can play um, PUBG at 60 frames a second. I can't see what the hell I'm doing. Uh, let's try fishing. I love how these games just instantly start. Like, there's no loading times, nothing. It's just phew, tap the screen to shoot. Oh, this is fishing. Okay. This isn't how I was taught to fish. Okay. Fair. Uh, we have Brave Man. This is like Ice Climber. No. The other one. I don't know. The one where you descend. Yeah, that's fair. Just land on some spikes, buddy. That's all right. Game over. Cool. <laughs> and let's try basketball. Oh. oh. Are you serious? That's it? Oh, I missed. Are you serious? Come on, man. You could have had something better. Like, there's no sound. Come on, please, sound. No? Okay. All right. Well, um, that was basketball. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, does the lock switch actually... Oh, yeah. The silent mode. The silent switch, sorry. You just press it and it just does that. And then the volume. No. Yeah. All volume down doesn't work. That's okay. Doesn't need to work. Man, I should try the camera on this thing because I would love to see what the camera is going to be like on this. Because just, yeah. Um, we'll get to that. We'll get to, Actually, I'm going to splice in some footage of the camera on this thing from 2012 right now. And this is the recording quality of the iPhone 5 clone that really, really tried. I think it's about like three frames a second. Maybe, if that. For some reason, it's really, really zoomed in as well. I can't do anything about it. Also, too many lemons. The selfie camera looks absolutely gorgeous. Wonderful. So if all went well, you would have seen some footage and pictures from this phone. Maybe. Pretty good for 2012, I'm going to assume. Um, if we go to File Manager, the phone has 512k free, but the phone card is 4 gig. Oh, that means there's a micro SD card located in here somewhere, which will be interesting because I want to pull this apart because stuff it why not but like ipod brings up this what's this ah that's lovely i hope that's not copyrighted um yeah very um old school layout calculator yep recorder oh yeah i remember when it looked like that damn memories it is trying so hard to be ios 6 um, it just doesn't really look like it. There's no notes or anything. Hang on, I'm going to connect to Wi-Fi. I'm going to connect to Wi-Fi. Because I want to try, uh, get on the web. We want to we we browse the web. On this thing. Whoa! Dude, we have Google on this thing. Let's, let's go to my YouTube channel. Come on, 32 meg of RAM. Come on, you can do it. Google search. Yeah. Uh, ah, yeah, yep, yeah, we, up. Uh, oh, okay, okay, um, oh, I know why the date and time is wrong, oh yeah, man, it, it's rocking like 2012 here, cool, if this thing can run YouTube, holy crap, that's gonna be amazing, and I spelled my name wrong, come on, Ah, oh, nah, doesn't look like it's gonna happen, sorry, well, you can 
browse the web on this thing. If that's what you want to call it. What does eBay look like? Yeah, okay, fair enough. Um, that's probably something to do with the date and time. I've put it to the current date and time, but obviously it doesn't want to do anything. But I just love that it's 64 gig and then you go into the file manager. And it's, yeah, it's just 512k. That's fine. It's fine. It's not a problem. Uh, so, yeah, that's um, that's this iPhone clone. But we're not done yet. I want to take it apart. I really want to see what's inside of this thing. I haven't done the camera test yet, so I hope I don't kill this. Because if I do, then I'm going to be really pissed off because I really want to do a camera test on this thing. But I'm also scared of plugging it into my computer, so I might just get like a spare laptop and just grab all the stuff off it just in case this has some sort of adware from 2012 living in this thing. I don't know. Um, all right, let me go ahead and grab some tools and I'm going to power this thing off. Oh, I'm not going to lock it. Oh, slide to unlock. I missed that feature. Why'd they get rid of it? Just like that, it's off. No worries. All right. And uh, you might have also noticed that there's just two Phillips head screws holding the uh, case together. They got the dimensions pretty, like, pretty on point, didn't they? Yeah, they kind of did. Speaker grills are pretty uh, bigger on this one than the real deal. But uh, I love how they just circled off the micro USB port. They're just like, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. No one's going to see it except smalls. Uh, exactly the same size. Antenna bands and everything. Hmm. Now can you see why I was just like, oh yeah, yeah, it's an iPhone 5. And just didn't look at it for more than like two seconds. And uh, you can just tell. Yeah. That was uh, my my stuff up there. Whoops. All right. Time for an autopsy. Sorry, little friend. I imagine that this is probably just going to fall apart when I do this. But we'll see. If it does, it'll be a happy mistake. Ah, shit, that's threaded. No problems, I can fix that. Okay, both screws are off. This is not going to be like a normal iPhone where you just bonk the screen off. I don't think it's going to be like that. Let's see if I can get it at least between the frame. I literally think this plastic case is just held on by, like, nothingness. I think I'm possibly damaging it even more, but... This is for science or something. Oh my god. Oh, the plot thickens. The plot thickens, my friends. Here we go. <laughs> oh, man. There had to be some hidden screws, wasn't there? Of course there was. I'm sitting here just prying around the thing, causing a significant amount of damage, and I've just went, yeah, well, that's fine. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's all good. Uh, so I, I'm guessing I'm just going to rip this one off. They're supposed to be glass, but, you know, plastic, glass, same thing. Now I can imagine this thing just falling apart. I said that before, but now I'm pretty sure it's going to just fall apart. Because I was able to, like, shimmy a little bit before, but it, it wasn't budging. Now it should just... Yeah, there we go. Oh, my God. Here we go. Here we go, folks. This is the moment of truth. We are going to see inside a 2012 iPhone clone. Oh my god. <laughs> the, the home button just fucking just flew. Just, just had a bit of a journey there. But the, there is the, the gorgeous aluminium unibody here that was used on the uh, iPhone 5, as you can see quite clearly here. Also, the speaker is just there too. Looks like it fires out that way, but it doesn't. Uh, yeah, adhesive strips just hold down the plastic, and that's it. Should I carve my name into it? There we go. I carved my name into it, so if anyone steals it, I'll know it's mine. Uh, but here is the... <laughs> oh, my God. Here is the guts. <laughs> wow. Holy moly. Okay, so we have... Um, oh, Jesus, look at that there. Oh, wow, okay. This is, in, this is really interesting. There's like, is that Alibaba? No, it's, it's Baba.com. Okay, we, gotta we have to take this apart. We have to somehow get at it. But <laughs> there's, there's your micro USB port there, folks, which is um, rounded off conveniently because, yeah. At least there's a headphone jack. 
won't uh, won't comment on the current state of headphone jacks. Also, what is this battery even doing? What is this? What is it? A 750 milliamp hour battery. Well, I think the iPhone 5 had like a 1,136 or some ridiculously stupid number like that. Um, but hey, there you go. Oh, look. Hidden button. These are always on iPhone clones. They always have this little hidden button. It does absolutely nothing, but it's there. It's where the microphone is. You can just pierce it. That's how you can tell it's a, um, a clone. Not by its hideous design or anything like that, but yeah. Ah, oh, let's go ahead and try and pull it apart. So I want to see where this micro SD card is, by the way. So, oh yeah, that's oh, gorgeous design. Also, I can't solder. So if I somehow screw this up, I can't solder. So I can't fix this. But I'm going to try my hardest not to screw it up. And then look at that in there. We have a sticker. It looks like 2012 with a whole bunch of ticks and stuff. We have our Potev micro SD card, which is a four gig micro SD card. And then we have all the chips on the board there, but I don't want to pull it apart any further because I feel like I'm just going to like completely kill it. Oh my God. Okay. I have the innards. I have the innards out. Did they glue this micro SD card down? They didn't, did they? It's a Potevo micro SD card. I've never heard of that before, but okay. I was trying to rip the shielding off the board here, but I don't think I can. Like, I don't think it's going to matter if the shielding's on or not, but I'll just take it off. Uh, inside of here, we have a MediaTek MT625A CPU. That would obviously be, well, the CPU. And then I'd say on this side here would be our, um, our flash storage, most likely. We can pull this straight up, so I, I imagine... Oh no. What did what does this serve? What does that serve? Well, I'm gonna put that back in there because it might serve something. There's two smaller chips on the board there, but I don't know which one would be like the flash memory or anything like that, or if it's all just in the micro SD card. Or it could be under that one as well. There you go. Um not a lot happening in here. It's kind of like the same design of the uh, iPhone motherboard being the way it is. Not really much else to say about this one. I'm going to I'm going to put this back together and see if it still works because it'll be a miracle if it still actually works. All right, the moment of truth. Does it still work? Yes, it does. Uh I tried putting a SIM card into it and it just didn't like it at all. So, I just took it back out and uh with its absolutely great responsive UI it just oh, it's brilliant um, I'm yet to take any photos with this I'll splice it into the video earlier so you can all see but I can imagine it's pretty crap yeah I'm sorry this video went for so long it was only going to be just some rando one but it turned into this long ass one sorry if I find phones or technology that's interesting you know I'm going to grab it and I'll probably do a review on it or you know just a video or something but you know, I like to ramble and like to have a bit of a chit chat while I make videos. And if you don't like that, well, you know, so be it. You can just skip through it. That's all good. But, you know, I do this because it's just fun. This stuff's pretty cool to have a look at. And as I said, it's a relic. This is a gem from 2012. Are you ever going to find one of these working? Probably not. How long is the battery going to last for? I have no idea. Probably not that long. Um, but it all works. I hope you all thoroughly enjoyed this. <laughs> look at this rando iphone 5 clone from 2012 um yeah it's um been a long video so yeah thank you very much for watching hopefully i'm going to cut this down to at least 20 minutes at least because i've filmed like 45 minutes of footage it's just ridiculous so yeah sorry it's went too long um keep an eye out because i will be uploading more tech stuff very soon i do have something from wish on the way yes something else from wish um, and I have a couple of other tech videos that I want to, you know, finish and upload and all that sort of stuff. But I just thought I'd make a video on this stupid, silly thing. At least it's not a welcome phone. It's a, it's just a nothing. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, me thinking it's a genuine iPhone 5. And I'm like, oh yeah, cool. Nope, it's a fake. Oh well, so be it. Made for an interesting video. 
Anyways, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it very much. And I will see you all in the next video, whatever that may be. Could be, yeah. We'll see what turns up. We'll see what's on my schedule. But anyways, I'll keep everyone posted. If you want to follow me on Instagram or whatever, feel free. It's all good. Thank you again. Take care. Be good people. You, be good people. And um, yeah, see you in the next one. Bit of dust. If you like this content, feel free to leave a like or a dislike if you didn't. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.